Hello soldiers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve Alma Better's module 3, that is mathematics for ML and the assignment number 4. And the topic is probability theory. So let's get started. And the first problem is in a group of 25 people, 18 have a mortgage. 13 own some shares and 12 people have neither a mortgage nor any shares. How many people have both? So mortgage uh, is kind of a loan. Yeah. So here the solution is first the people who have mod cage right i'm just denoting by m then so how many people they are having they are having 18 have mod cage so n of m equals to 18 so the people who own some shares like they are 13 people who own shares right so I just noted that thing so n of so n of m union yes so here what we are having so union means here total number of people are 25 then and the two people who are not having anything neither mortgage nor shares so i'm just going to sub subtract them from total number of people so we are having total 23 so therefore n of m intersection s equals to n of m plus n of s minus n of p union yes so here i'm just going to write n of m value as 18 as we wrote here in the given here n of s value 13 then n union n of m union yes we just got here that is 23 so if we solve this thing we got 8 so how many people have both means we are got in we got this value so the people who are having mortgage and shares they are 8 people so these formulas you have learned in your class 10th right so p of p of a union b this thing p of a intersection b these formulas we just wrote uh, there p here we are writing just n that's a difference that's a just a, that's a difference okay here problem two a contestant on a game show is asked two questions the probability that she gets the first question correct is 0 0.3 and the probability that she gets the second question correct is 0 0.4 given that the probability that she gets both questions correct is 0 0.1 calculate the probability that and the first question is she gets either the first the second or both questions right she gets both questions wrong this is our second okay let's solve this thing probability of getting the first question correct is 0 0.3 p of a probability of getting the second question correct is p of p that is a 0 0.4 i'm just going to write this given given data here probability of getting both the questions correct p of a and b that is 0 0.1 therefore probability of getting either first second or both correct p of 
ए और बी इक्वल्स टू पी ऑफ ए प्लस पी ऑफ बी माइनस पी ऑफ ए एंड बी दिस इज अ फॉर्मूला सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मूला एंड हियर आल्सो इन दिस दिस फॉर्मूला यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस थिंग्स ओके हियर वी आर जस्ट पुटिंग द वैल्यूज सो वी गॉट पी ऑफ ए और बी दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स देन नेक्स्ट वन probability of getting both questions wrong that is 1 minus p of a or b so we got 0.4 now we are moving to the problem 3 a four digit pin is selected what is the probability that there are no repeated digits so here we are going to use factorial so what is factorial i just tell you one thing uh like five factorial means to get the five factorial value what we will do 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 like that we will do so here i am just creating the function called factorial so the number which we are going to enter that's going to be right here in the place of n f equals to 1 for i in range 1 comma n plus 1 f equals to f into i then i'm returning f so here so here you can see in this function p of n comma r return integer value we want integer value factorial of n by factorial of n minus r this is permutations permutations right permutations and combination that one she remember right here possible outcome equals to p of 10 comma 4 then print here we are using format a string the possible combinations are possible outcomes and the possibility percentage is possible outcome by this is 1 2 3 4 10000 10, into 100 so the possible combinations are 5040 and the possibility percentage is 50. Zero four. So that's a possibility is of fifty point four percentage. So in this thing you can see zero is repeated twice. So yeah, here now we are going to solve problem number four. In a certain state's lottery for lottery, forty eight balls numbered one. Through forty-eight are placed in a machine, and six of them are drawn at random. If the six numbers drawn match the number of numbers that a player had chosen, the player wins. This is ten uh, lakh US dollar, uh, ten lakh dollars in this lottery. the order the numbers are drawn in doesn't matter compute the probability that you win the million dollar prize if you purchase a single lottery ticket so it's all about lottery and all those things let's see so the total number of balls we are having a 48 balls number of balls drawn so here you can see if six number balls drawn match the numbers that player had chosen so six of them are drawn at random so that's why we are just putting our value six here combinations formula 
here you can see n comma r factorial of n by factorial of r into factorial of n minus r so you can just see this is a permutations formula this is a combinations formula so how we defined them here you can see with the c and with the p so here you can see now here possible outcomes equal to c of 48 comma 6 so that's what we got the output here possible lottery number c of 6 comma 6 possible lottery number 1 probability of getting a matching number equals to probability possible lottery number by possible outcomes probability of getting a matching number that is this thing oh my god so now probability of getting a matching number we are just printing this thing mm. so so here you can see in this lottery the order the numbers are drawn in doesn't matter compute the probability that you win the million dollar prize if you purchase a single lottery ticket so here you can see probability of getting a matching number is this so now we are moving to problem number five a person has three routes to get to work the probability that he arrives on time using routes a b and c are 60 percent 62 percent and 70 percent respectively if he is equally likely to choose any of the routes that are and arrives at a work on time what is the probability that he choose route b so here you can see probability we are having for a b and c are 60 62 and 70 respectively so they are specifically asking what is the probability that he choose root b so we are having the value as so this is in percentage that's why we took here so here we can see 0 0.62 we took total we are just adding all these things so probability equals to b by total then we are just printing this is the easiest question uh, among these all things <laughs> these all questions yeah this is what we learned right from the years so probability by total so this is what we got uh, the probability that he chose root b is 0 0.322 this value so here you can see problem 1 2 and 5 are pretty easy ones so for 3 and 4 you need to understand the concept of uh, like permutations and combinations to understand this 3 and 4 problem so yeah we have to do little bit of hard work on learning those concepts then we can easily understand these things and yeah we are just using the these two formulas here here we are using permutations formula here we are using combinations formula so here we are just creating a factorial of a number so that's it for now meet you next tutorial till then bye bye